The Supreme Court ruling is due tomorrow on Donald Trump's immunity from prosecution claims. ABC's Perry Russom joins us now live from Washington, D.C., as all eyes are on the high court. Good morning to you, Perry. Janae, good morning to you. This is one of the biggest rulings that has yet to come down from the high court, and we know it is happening tomorrow. At the center of this case, does former President Trump have immunity from criminal prosecution for official acts while in office? This is tied to the January 6th election interference case where Trump faces four felony charges, including conspiracy to defraud the U.S. for his alleged attempts to overturn the 2020 election. Trump has pleaded not guilty and denies all wrongdoing. This is a watershed moment in the shaping of what a president can and cannot do while in office, what their power truly is. Trump has said if a president does not have full immunity, nobody serving in that office will have the courage to make what would be the right decision. During arguments in April, the Department of Justice argued granting absolute immunity would put a president above the law. This does not have to be a yes or no ruling from the high court. There could be some type of hybrid ruling offering a president some level of protection. The trial for this case was supposed to start back in March. It was then delayed as it went up to the high court. So depending on what the ruling is tomorrow, this case could move forward and we could see a trial before November. Will? All right, Perry, thank you for that.